I wish there was a, a place for just like career girls or something where they're like 30s. Yeah. Because it's also – There seems to be like no in-between anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And and there's – that's an important area. And there's some that have managed to navigate – because I don't think of Adriana Chechik as a teen. Mm-hmm. I don't think of her as a MILF. I think of yeah. her as that in-between. Right. And she's managed to – Keep her career going. Yeah. Um, but I wish there was m- more of a of that that area. In general, I don't like pigeonholing. You know, it's just. But the problem is that whole the that the older younger older younger older younger is just it plays into that whole algorithm thing that you were talking about earlier. Yeah. And then the need to like tag people in a certain category and have a searchable, um, a searchable search term. Yeah. You know, like milf or teen or you know, and everybody looks. Oh, okay, milf's a big search term. Well, you got to be a milf. Or no one's going to find you. No one's going to want to watch your scene or anything like that. Yeah. And there's a lot of women I know, too, who are, like, technically MILF age, which means, like, 28 or older, (laughs) um, who refuse to do MILF scenes because they're just like, I don't want it. Because once you get pigeonholed into that, like, MILF category, you're just like, that's there you are. Yeah, and it's hard because you can conceivably be a stepmom and be 25, you know. That is actually the case with a really good friend of mine. Um, she is no joke. Uh, I think she – well, she just turned 27, but when she married her husband, she was 26. And her stepdaughter was two years younger than her because yeah. he was older. And it actually – it's hilarious. We would always just joke about like how – Yeah, like, right. It was no, just so it's, funny. It's, it's basically – it it's a it's setup. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it was hilarious. Um. So uh, how do you feel about – how important do you think that financial independence is these days? Like since you've seen the change with the internet and how it's really enabled women to be more financially independent, um, how important would you say that is to new performers to like be your own entrepreneur, create your own content, that kind of stuff? It's so important. Um, it's funny because I – I'm just going to say it now because I'm no longer um, at mile high. But when uh, – I'd be on set and girls would say, can I turn on my fans to, you know, sort of show me like doing, getting my pictures done. And I'm like, you know what? Do it. I'm not going to fucking, I'm not, no, you can't do that when you're on set, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, because you're only making $800 today and they're going to be making millions. So fucking do do your, it's fine with me. I feel the same yeah. way. And I and so many companies are like now telling me, you know, make sure that they aren't doing this, they aren't doing that. And I'm just like, okay, like I get it if it's a secret project or something sure. like that. Yes. Or if it's something like, um, you know, for example, like I shoot the Twisties Treat of the Month every month. Like right. uh, that is a very specific look that they've, you know, catered and it's a very, sure. you know, and, and I get that. So yeah. like there's no BTS on those. Yeah. You can take BTS and you can post it later. But you can't release that that day. Yeah. And I totally understand that. Right. But like for some other shoots, I'm like, honestly, I really don't believe that you are – that these fans that are on this girl's Snapchat are now not going to join your right. website because they saw a couple of 10-second snaps of the scene. Right. And so they're, they're not going to join. If anything, I think it's great promotion. Yeah. Now there's a difference between getting a couple snaps here and there and then like literally setting your phone down right. and hitting like live record and filming right. the whole scene. Exactly. That's yes. another thing. That's a whole, yeah. Yeah. And there's another thing and there's a thing about girls wasting time on set because yes. they're constantly taking selfies. They're going in the bathroom shooting like a fucking strip tease while all of us are on set waiting yeah. for them to get there. Like that is also like disrespectful. Like, you know, you yeah. and I both know we usually pay per hour at a location. And plus, we don't want to fucking be there all day. Yeah. Neither does the crew. Right. So so that is annoying. But for me, like when I do my own productions, I actually um, have somebody else, uh, usually Bailey Rain, come on set and shoot like uh, behind the scenes, Snapchat, whatever, for me and for the girl. Right. And I'll be like, give Bailey your phone. She'll shoot it for you too because – why shouldn't you also make yeah. some extra money? For like, sure. you know, we all are kind of just trying to scrape by. Like, there's almost nobody who's making, you know, no model who's making millions of yeah. fucking dollars. It's not all coming from doing scenes. Yes. Yeah. If if she is, it's it's because she's got a million other things going on. Right. You know who um, I just love? I think that she's amazing and she posts advice all the time is Lena Paul mm-hmm. on her yeah, Twitter. She's I just super smart. And I just I, – I think that's awesome. I think she's really providing 
a great resource to to the girls and the guys too in the business. Just saying, go out. This is this is what you need to be doing. Mm-hmm. You know, take care of yourself, your physical health, your mental health. You know, the, here are these apps for managing your money, all this kind of stuff, like invest investing advice and all that. Um, <clears throat> I think it's very important. Um, you can't survive in this business yeah. unless you have. Um, you know, um, 10, other things, 10 other things going on. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.